Uh, we got a question here from Kyle. He wants to know what types of rigging equipment do require the documented yearly inspection? Great question, Kyle. So oftentimes there's this misnomer out in the industry that it's just chain slings. That is not correct. ASME B30.9 states you must have a periodic and documented inspection on wire rope slings, web slings, high performance round slings, chain slings, and then also required, and it's not the same um, document, it's still ASME B30 in one of the subcategories, lever pullers, uh, chain falls also require. Often there's this misnomer that it's just chain slings require a documented annual inspection, um, and that is not correct. I'd like to add to that as well. When it comes to documented inspections of any type of product, we always highly recommend that you, you document. And, and, and you may ask, how do you do that with products that aren't serialized? If OSHA comes to you and says, I want to see your records of inspection, even though it may not be officially required, it's always better to have something documented. So let's say you're talking about a group of wire rope slings that don't have serial numbers on them. So you can go ahead and say, hey, on you know September 21st, 2020, we inspected 50 wire rope slings, size ranges, we did 10 half inch, 10 five eighths, 23 quarters, and we rejected 15 slings out of this group and the remainder passed inspection. That's sufficient, but as long as you have some documentation to show you did those inspections, you're gonna, you're gonna make OSHA very happy. And we actually do have a, uh, a cheat sheet that we put together for all different types of rigging equipment. It's got all of the inspection requirements for slings, rigging hardware, manual hoists, below the hook devices. It has the standards that correlate to each of those, as well as inspection frequencies. And there's a note on whether inspection records are required to be documented.